Hello everyone, this short tutorial will teach you how to use a soft synthesizer with a MIDI keyboard to be able to play back some MIDI in OCS score. So how do we do that? So to get started, we have to add a MIDI device in OCS score. To do so, like always, we have to go inside the device explorer. This is this part right here. Right click, add the device and inside the hardware tab, you'll see MIDI input and output. Here you should be able to see all your connected MIDI keyboards um, and devices, either software or hardware. So in my case, for instance, I want to use my Artria keyboard. And so I just have to select it in the list. Let's add it. And when it appears here, then I will be able to drag and drop it into soft synths and any other place in OCR that requires some MIDI input. So how will that look? For instance, if I want to make a track with a synth, I will first create an interval like this. And I will say, okay, say I want you to run forever. And then I'll go inside the process tab, the little tab at the bottom here inside audio. And here I have multiple families of soft synths to choose from. For instance, uh, VST2, I can go fetch some instruments. So let's say um, VTOL. And here, this adds the synth. So you can open the user interface with this button and add controls here and start playing. So for now, this only works with the sound of this soft synth. Of course, what I want is to use my MIDI keyboard. So it's very simple to do. You just have to go to the device explorer and drag the keyboard inside the blue port here. And here you'll, you, you're able to, to, to select it through a small combo box too. And now you can just do that. Okay, so that's the first thing. A second thing will be how do I map controls? So this is also fairly simple. What you have to do is right click here on the device, on the, inside the device explorer and select learn. Then tweak some knobs in your controller. So here the CCs show up and they appear in the tree. Now, once we're in the tree, we can say, okay, I want this control to be mapped to this control of my um, VST. And so that's the first way to do it. So if I do this, so which one is it? Um, yeah, this one. Uh, now, if I play, then you can see that uh, the volume changes depending on my knob. So, all right. So, what if you um, want to do it more simply? You can also say, click here on the port. Here, you will be able to show the address by clicking on this little icon. And when you right click on the address, you can also press learn. And here you can again move some knobs and which one you choose here will be used as an address. So I choose the same. <laughs> so here I use the same thing for both. All right, so that's the first thing. Um, then be aware that you can also apply effects, MIDI effects. For instance, let's say I want to add an arpeggiator or something that creates score, something like that. Then inside score, you can go inside the MIDI tab and there are a couple effects. So let's use, for instance, the arpeggiator. Uh, and I don't know. Okay. And then let's make some chords out of our arpeggios. So um, like this, for instance, and uh, then you also connect, you connect all the effects together. And in the beginning of the first effect, you choose what will be your MIDI input. So I remove the MIDI input from the synth and now the MIDI input comes from the arpeggiator and goes into the chord and then into the all. And now if I play, um, Okay, this isn't nice <laughs> at all.
So yeah, so like that you can play with synthesizers. So you can also add multiple synthesizers, for instance, in parallel, if you want to make complex effect mappings. So let's say I want to add another synth. Um, let's say, I don't know, um, okay, uh, Dext, which is nice um, D7 simulator. Um, so I don't know, um, something like that. Uh, this isn't very good. Okay. And I'll uh, increase the volume. Where is that? I never find it. Okay, it's already <laughs> as loud as possible. And so this way you can have complex mappings. For instance, if I want to apply some effect then to both Dext and Vital, uh, what can I do? Uh, what can I do? I can simply go here. So I, I'll, I'll go look for some Faust effects. Let's say I want to add some chorus. I drop it here and now I can connect both scenes here and I will go into nodal mode to see things better. Okay, and here enable. So yeah, so like that, you, you can combine uh, synthesizers however you want. So there is no limitation on the routing or things like that. So yeah, that's it for using soft synths with MIDI keyboards in OCS course. So if you have any questions, please come on the forum or on the chat. We'll be super happy to help you. This was Jean-Michel. See you.